At first glance, San Francisco's Golden Gate Park looks like any other park. It's got trees, lots of grass, and walking paths. But there's one area of the park that gets a lot of looks. I, I see the bison's uh, first time in my life. Yeah, he's a bison. Nick Fedova is like many first-time tourists who are a little surprised and confused when they see giant animals roaming the park. I suppose it could be. I mean, we, we see tourists pretty much every day. You know, we meet people from all over the world out here that come just to see the bison. Amy Phelps is one of the many caretakers at what is known as the bison paddock. And when I visited, it was lunchtime. And on the menu was an appetizer of grain and the main course, Christmas trees. Bison normally eat uh, Christmas trees? They can. Um, they eat a variety of wooded plants and mostly grass. They're mainly grazers. Amy put me to work garnishing the Christmas trees with lettuce and carrots. Mmm. Bison food. All right, girls, let's go. Although the bison are cared for by the staff at the San Francisco Zoo, they've never really been part of the zoo. The bison paddock is actually a part of a centuries-old conservation project. Bison in general are absolutely a conservation story. I mean, there's, they were literally hunted almost to extinction. The American bison, 250 years ago, almost 60 million of them roamed the North American continent. Hollywood has taught us to call them buffalo, but their true name is the American bison. And during the colonization of the West, pioneers and the U.S. Army slaughtered millions of bison. In part for hide and meat, um, and in part as part of the uh, really awful things that were done to Native Americans. As a part of the American Indian Wars, the U.S. government encouraged people to kill bison to reduce food for the Native Americans. By 1889, the species nearly went extinct with a population of less than a thousand bison. 1891, um, the old park superintendent, McLaren, brought in one male and one female. In an effort to save the American bison, park superintendent John McLaren started a breeding program. Over the years, more than 500 calves were born and literally, it saved the species from extinction. They've come a long way, but you know, the only free roaming bison now exist in conservation areas where they're protected. Though they're fed by humans, the Golden Gate bison are very much wild. And if you're wondering, yes, they have escaped a few times. One notable escape happened in 1899 and involved a bull bison trampling a park ranger and goring and killing his horse. The other major escape was in 1942 when bison ran through the streets and the last reported escape was in 1995, but since then the fencing has been updated. And there's multiple layers of fencing, so um, even if a tree fell and took out one layer of fencing, it certainly wouldn't free a bison. They'd have to get past many too. From the bison paddock in San Francisco, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back roads.